Hi, it's Faylene and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a review on some more Louis Vuitton items that I love wearing in the fall and share some tips on how you can save thousands of dollars on designer items by looking at some pre-loved sites. Stay tuned and see more. and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below. I try to bring you weekly videos, tips, suggestions about all things in my world, from travel to shopping, to mom hats, to cooking, you name it, I try to bring it to you, as well as money saving tips. And this video is one of those. So in today's video, I want to go over two more items that I got from Louis Vuitton that were pre-loved. So I, again, I'm all about saving dollars. So I want to go over first these awesome shoes that I got from Louis Vuitton. So I work in corporate America and this is way before the COVID situation happened. Went into the office at least four days out the week and would typically wear lots of black. I think it's just a common thing. A lot of us women love blacks. So I thought wearing these shoes and having these shoes in my collection would be awesome. And I was not disappointed at all. I love patent leather. I mean, I love it. I love it in purses and shoes, you name it, I love it. And this is a Louis Vuitton, Louise, I believe is the style. And it's got the LV emblem. And I purposely wanted the emblem to have the gold and the silver because I wear a lots of gold and silver combined. And it's the patent leather. And the heel is almost about three inches, but it's very comfortable to walk in. And you can see the emblems on this side. And so the Louis Vuitton packaging, just so I can show you this, when you get any shoes from Louis Vuitton, they, of course, have the big box and all that good stuff, but a lot of their shoes come with individual shoe bags. So there is a shoe bag for the left shoe as well as the right shoe. And it just has the standard Louis Vuitton um, branding on it, on it each. And I actually do store my shoes in the shoe bag. And if I do have a box, I'll use the box. It's not necessary all the time but this is what the pair looks like together and so hopefully you can see um, it's got the silver circle on the outside and the gold in the middle and i am a size really eight and a half but for louis vuitton i typically wear a nine so i'll do the 39 international style so you'll see on the back of my shoe got the size and I do have a little bit of wear and tear on the bottom of these shoes. Um, I would say it's not as bad as like a red bottom Christian Louboutin, but definitely you'll see that some of this will peel off after wearing it, not even that many times. I usually will wear uh, sneakers or low, fat, low flats when I'm on the train going to work. And then when I get into the office, I'll switch and rock my shoes. But these shoes go with so many things in my closet. Like I said, I wear lots of blacks. I also wear grays, reds, colors. I like bright colors on my skin tone. So a lot of times I'll wear like a brighter color like this green with some black pants. And these shoes look so cute with that outfit. And it really does dress up the entire outfit. Um, for. Okay, so I wanted to just measure how big the emblem is. On camera, it may look like it's totally gaudy and like out of control, but it's not. It's only a couple of inches. I think it's like two inches wide as far as the emblem. So you can see here, 
It's only about two inches wide and it's, it's not a gaudy shoe, believe it or not. Um, you really have an opportunity to dress this down, dress this up. I have not worn these shoes with jeans per se, but a lot of times I'll wear them with a lot of my slacks, especially if it's black slacks and I have a solid color. I also love wearing these shoes with my uh, Louis uh, necklace that matches. So I like to have that look sometimes. Um, sometimes this necklace I feel is a bit too much for work. So this is more of my fashion, cosmetic, jewelry, weekend necklace. So I don't wear it all the times as a pair, but I love these shoes. Now I did have a time trying to find these shoes because they were sold out on the Louis Vuitton store and I had to spend quite a bit of time looking and looking and looking also because my size, my size is a popular size. So I probably spent about eight months looking for these shoes. And like I said, got them pre-loved and so I saved some money. The second item I wanna to talk to you about and give you a review of are the Louis Vuitton scarves. So I also was able to find pre-loved a Louis Vuitton shimmer, shiny, black, silky kind of pattern scarf. So hopefully you can see the print up close. And this scarf is kind of a lightweight scarf, but it is huge. It's at least 55 inches across and down. So you really can wear it wrapped around as a shawl, which is how I wear it a lot in the winter and there's two sides to it. So one side shimmers and the other side I would say is a darker black and it's kind of more of a, a subtle look. So the darker non shimmery, but it's kind of still shimmery and you can see the Louis Vuitton print inside or on the scarf. And this scarf though is very fragile. So you have to be careful about wearing jewelry that might snag this scarf. I actually would only dry clean this scarf because I feel like it's so fragile and you probably can get a couple of wears out of this scarf before you feel like I need to dry clean it. I got this item pre-loved on Fashion File, which I've talked about before in some of my videos. Tip again, again for my watchers out there. Do not buy full price retail until you check out some of these pre-loved sites. So this scarf definitely retails more than $700. I got this scarf for less than $300 on a pre-loved site and it's in excellent condition. There was a tiny run somewhere, I don't even know where it's at, but it didn't bother me. So it wasn't completely brand new, but I'm in a city where it's very windy and some days it can be cool and foggy. So I have to layer a lot when I go out, even running errands. And so this scarf is great, especially if I go out for dinner or something a little nicer and I don't wanna throw on just an, a normal looking outfit, coat or whatever. Um, I'll wear this scarf. And so there's lots of different ways of how you can style the scarf. Like I showed you, you can do the traditional around your shoulders. You can also do the scarf where you kind of do it this way up top and then it kind of can drape this way. And this is a common look. And this is to me when you need a little bit more warmth and you can put a jacket on it um, you can also just have it, you know, more of a tighter kind of scarf and there's so many different ways. I love it. It's very flexible. So again, my tip for the Louis Vuitton scarf is to try to find it pre-loved. A lot of the sites that I go to, Fashion File, Real Real, Tradesy, they have this scarf in multiple colors. I've seen it in the lighter pink. I've seen it in the blue, the denim blue. I've seen it in a gray and a brown. And I like the black because it kind of goes with everything that I have in my closet. But definitely look into pre-love before you walk into a Louis Vuitton store. 
tip for you today. Now let's talk about some of the wine that I'm drinking because this is part of my Friday night shopping video wine review. So as I've said in other videos, I've really been trying to support more black owned winery. So I wanna tell you about this winery called the McBride Sisters. They're actually two women, they're sisters, and I believe they're mixed, um, but they started a winery, winery and they have reds, whites, and tonight I'm gonna to try this sparkling wine from them. It is more of a kind of rosé, it's a brut rosé, and I've heard good things about this winery, and I'll definitely include links to their winery in my description below so you can take advantage and try it out. They have really made the Black Girl Magic Wine fly off the shelves. So I don't know if you've heard about this wine. It's a red and a white. It's a red blend and more like a white kind of table wine. And the label says Black Girl's Magic. It is good and it's hard to find. I mean, it sells so fast because it's good. Um, this is something I have not tried. So I want to try this tonight and see how is this rosé. I drink sparkling. I'm finding that I'm drinking it more and more. At first I didn't drink it that much. I would drink it in my mimosas, but now I kind of enjoy a glass of sparkling every now and then. So cheers. Oh, that's good. It's kind of dry because it's more of a brute, but it's, it's very good. It has a nice finish. It has a little um, sweetness to it. I think I definitely can, um, can drink more of this. Pick up a bottle, any kind of bottle from McBride Sisters if you haven't already and support all of the black wineries that are popping up more and more. Until my next video, thank you so much for watching. Take care.